Hello, and welcome to ZTech's webinar on improving efficiency and accuracy of scanning. My name is Michael Musman of ZTech. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. As an on demand webinar, there is no live question and answer section at the end. Instead, you can easily send us a question at any time by sending us an email to webinars at ztech.com and we will respond directly back to you. Before we begin the webinar, I would like to give a quick overview of ZTech. ZTech is a global NDT leader. For over 50 years, we've advanced the science and standards in both ultrasonic and eddy current technologies, setting new heights in inspection performance, productivity, and predictability. ZTech's proven expertise and complete product portfolio serve the inspection needs of our customers worldwide in transportation, power generation, manufacturing, and oil and gas. ZTech is a subsidiary of Roper Technologies. Now let's get to today's session. At ZTech, we're always looking to solve customer inspection challenges. The latest challenge was getting a scanner that can be used for multiple types of inspection. The scanner would require perfect tracking in two directions to ensure that no area is missed during corrosion mapping. The scanner would also have to be functional on magnetic and non-magnetic surfaces, ranging from carbon steel for traditional applications to CFRP for the aerospace industry. An additional challenge is that we want a scanner that could also be used on weld inspections, and so different probe skew possibilities would be needed. The scanner must also be able to adapt to different geometries. The solution is a lightweight portable scanner, so we recommend using it with the Topaz product family. To start, we have the Topaz 16, a big value and a small size, and perfectly suited to handle thin weld and corrosion inspections. Next is the Topaz 32, the workhorse for high productivity in all industries, and with specific tools for stainless steel welds and time reversal. And last but not least, the newest member of the Topaz family, the Topaz 64. It is the best of all worlds, combining code-compliant PAUT and TOFT and industrial live TFM. So there really is a Topaz for every application, for every customer, and for every price range. The most portable unit in the Topaz family is the Topaz 16. It is a small machine, but boasts a large 10.4 inch multi-touch display. The Topaz 16 is lightweight, but is able of going up to 16, 128 configuration with a dedicated conventional channel. The machine is capable of unlimited multi-probe capability for weld applications like two-sided phased array with Toft. The Topaz 16 is the ideal model for most simple applications. The next in line is the Topaz 32. It is considered the workhorse of the Topaz family. With more power than the 16, the Topaz 32 is available in a 32-128 phased array configuration. It has two dedicated 200 volt conventional channels and all the capabilities of the 16. Added to these, the 32 can also run 2D matrix array probes with complete onboard configuration. Another addition is the capability of performing time reversal for more complex aerospace inspections. Finally, there is the Topaz 64, the most powerful of the Topaz family. It is the best in class PAUT and TOFT integrated unit for code compliant inspections of thick welds. The phased array configurations vary over a wide range, reaching a potential 64 128 PR with two conventional channels. The Topaz 64 has the biggest screen on the market with a 12 inch high resolution multi touch display. It has the capability of doing multi-group TFM from different probes at the same time as standard phased array and TOFT. For more demanding inspection, the Topaz 64 possesses a 150 volt peak-to-peak -peak bipolar pulsar to provide more acoustic energy and an improved SNR. The Topaz 64 performs live TFM with frames up to 1 million pixels with multiple channels on the same probe or on different probes. The unit records the actual TFM and STF data groups for efficient onboard data analysis with the fastest TFM acquisition rate available on a portable instrument. 
Finally, the Topaz 64 also has the capability of FMC raw data, saving in both snapshot and encoded mode. The processing of the FMC data can be done offline in the UltraVision Classic software. The solution to the scanner challenge presented earlier is the NDT Sweeper. The Sweeper is a lightweight, versatile scanner. Its live on-screen XY tracking allows for optimum probability of detection, ensuring you never miss an area. The probe holder can be installed in the axial or circumferential orientation to perform different types of inspections. Our engineers designed multiple forks to be able to hold most kinds of probes on the market. The sweeper can be used with one or multiple probe holders. Each is spring-loaded to ensure good coupling even when scanning upside down. The probe holder attachment is easy to install for a quick configuration change when a different angle is required to reach closer to obstacles. The front holder support is also adjustable to accommodate smaller pipe diameters. Using the multi-position hinging mechanism, the sweeper can go from flat to a 4-inch NPS pipe in a few seconds. The sweeper rolls on five Omni wheels. This makes it the ideal scanner for raster scan as the X and Y translations are tracked perfectly. The scanner can roll in the X and Y axis as well as diagonal movements. The main movement limitation of the sweeper is that no rotation can be tracked, but the four outside wheels paired with the strong magnets prevent scanner rotation. At the back, the sweeper has a brake that will lock the front to back wheels while allowing side to side movement. This brake can be used to hold the scanner in place on a pipe during data review. It can also be used to perform perfect one line scans on long seam welds. The index axis is encoded using the fifth Omni wheel located beneath the scanner. This wheel is spring-loaded to ensure tracking during upside down and vertical scanning. The first user case we are going to look at is corrosion mapping. When using the sweeper for corrosion mapping, you get live probe position displayed on the screen. Coupled with the high precision XY position tracking, this allows you to look at the C-scan while it fills up so you are certain that every area is covered. ZTEC's dedicated corrosion mapping probes are compatible with the sweeper probe holder, so near surface resolution is not a problem. Another advantage of using the sweeper with the Topaz unit is the UltraVision Touch software has proposed setups for corrosion. The proposed setups are based on your specimen and will set up all parameters for you, still allowing you to adjust some if needed. The corrosion user case we will look at is a very common one. We use the sweeper on an 8-inch NPS carbon steel pipe with the probe oriented for circumferential scanning. The pipe is 0.39 inch thick and has simulated natural corrosion and pitting. At the start, the probe is lifted and the brake is engaged, so the scanner does not fall off the pipe. The user simply unlatches the probe holder to release the spring-loaded mechanism. They then disengage the brake and start scanning. As the sweeper is moved, the probe position dynamically updates on the C-scan, filling the view with thickness information for the area scanned. Using ZTEC's dedicated corrosion mapping probe, the active aperture is 1.6 inches wide, which makes for a very rapid scan of the pipe. This technique offers a considerable time gain when compared to the traditional thickness gauge or conventional UT probes on a grid. 
Recorded data files can be easily retrieved using the intuitive UltraVision Touch software interface. There is no need for laborious configuration of the screen display. The inspection layout is saved with the data file. Also, the data analyst can load a previously saved layout from the solid state drive to make his analysis even more efficient. Both amplitude and position C-scan views are available for evaluating both aspects of the inspection data. Dedicated information fields for corrosion damage assessment display key information about the surface area shown on the screen. The minimum and maximum thickness in the examined region are indicated, as well as the area where the thickness is below the user-defined threshold for the given component. The operator can also use the cursors to measure the remaining wall thickness in specific locations. As the cursors are moved in the C-scan view, the corresponding A-scan and B-scan data are automatically visualized and can be used for more detailed characterization of specific indications. On flat surfaces or large cylinders, the typical region that will be covered in a single scanning sequence is roughly 2.5 by 2.5 feet, or 75 by 75 centimeters. Many times the region of interest is larger than that. Therefore, it may be necessary to merge data together to give the data analyst a global view of the status of the component and for final reporting. The C-scan stitching feature in UltraVision Touch helps the operator accomplish this through an efficient and simple user interface. After merging the data files, the C-scans are stitched together with the ability to compensate for typical small misalignments and misorientations between datasets. The global C-scan image is then saved and ready to be used for further investigation. When the operator has finished his evaluation of the inspection data, the onboard reporting feature of the Topaz 16 will allow him to build, preview, and save various report types with only a few rapid touches of the screen. The Topaz reports include all key information of the equipment used during the inspection for traceability purposes. The essential parameters of the inspection are listed in detail and will allow third-party inspectors to verify that the examination procedure was applied. Each indication reported in the indication table is displayed on the specimen and detailed numerical information is provided. The comprehensive report generated on the Topaz is the final deliverable of this efficient and successful inspection. Some asset owners in the power generation and oil and gas industries have ongoing corrosion monitoring programs with historical data. The data export tool in the UltraVision Touch software will allow the sweeper data to be integrated in the existing databases and ensure continuity. The corrosion data can also be visualized and evaluated in the 3D environment of UltraVision Classic Advanced without any file conversion. The 3D rendering feature will transform the 2D color map into a realistic image of the corrosion damage pictured in the CAD drawing of the specimen. This type of imaging will make the results easier to communicate to non-NDE people. Now let's look at the second application, composite inspection. Most of what already has been highlighted for corrosion mapping also applies to composite inspection. Additionally, the sweeper's omni wheels are rubber coated to ensure optimal traction on non-magnetic surfaces. The rubber also ensures the surface of the specimen inspected is never damaged. To be able to conform to varying geometry, immersion is often necessary. Since immersion tanks are not always possible, we have worked to develop a localized immersion probe with a conformable membrane. The membrane has optimized impedance matching to composite materials offering a good near-surface resolution. Here is a user case for the sweeper for composite inspection. The inspection presented here is a carbon fiber reinforced polymer plate, 600 by 320 millimeter. It has multiple thicknesses varying between 1 to 3.2 mm, and different areas of the plate with different surface finishes to better test the tracking of the sweeper. The plate has multiple brass inserts at different plies to simulate real delaminations. Here we can see an overview of the resulting scan. We currently display three amplitude C scans and one position C scan. The Topaz family is capable of four live measurement gates plus additional post-processed gates when necessary. 
The first C-scan displays the interface signal and the first two plies. With a well-balanced TCG, we can observe the interface signal at an even 80% amplitude on most of the scan, with two darker, lower amplitude bands when the surface material changes. Circled in red, we have the area of high amplitude, representing areas where there is delamination within the first one plies of CFRP. Those can be classified as surface flaws. The second amplitude C-scan is one focused on the volume. The gate for this C-scan starts after the interface and stops before the back wall. That means that if no signal is detected, the part is likely free of flaws in the volume of the part. On the top, we can observe a band at 80% amplitude where the specimen is less thick. Circled in red, we have high amplitude flaws, which are flaws that are located within the gate, between the interface and the back wall. Circled in yellow are dark shadows. Those are created by flaws that are located above the gate, meaning in the interface. The third amplitude C-scan is the back wall C-scan. Once again, using the TCG, we achieve constant 80% amplitude back wall where there are no flaws. Circled in red are the flaws within the gate range, so near the bottom of the specimen. Circled in yellow are the shadows of flaws above. Those shadows appear because delamination prevent the sound to reach the back wall, but is located before the start of the gate. Finally, we have the position C-scan. The position C-scan is interesting because it translates the depth of the flaw into color. This gives a good overview of the location of all the flaws in the specimen. This also allows the user to see where the specimen is thicker at a quick glance. The third main type of inspection with the sweeper is weld inspection. Using the brake to lock one axis in place, we can ensure the sweeper does a perfect one-line scan. Using the adjustable fork, we are able to scan specimens from flat to 4-inch NPS. We can use a single probe holder for an easy one-sided scan or use multiple probe holders for two-sided inspection. The first example of weld inspection we are going to look at is a long seam weld. It is a 12-inch NPS carbon steel pipe at 11 16 inch thickness. The weld is along the axis of the pipe and contains five realistic welding flaws. There is an incomplete penetration, a toe crack, a transverse crack, a lack of fusion, and some porosity. Here is an example of the scan using a 32 element probe on the described pipe. Once that data has been recorded, the UltraVision Touch onboard software has a lot of tools to help with analysis. The volumetric merges help for optimal readability. You can use the soft gates of the volumetric merge to select a slice of volume to analyze. The polar view helps locate the flaw within the pipe geometry. In the current example, we can see the toe crack appear exactly at the toe of the weld. To ensure the measurements are corrected for the geometry, the Topaz has cylindrical correction tools. The tools correct for long seam weld geometry and rebounds. We can see at a quick glance that the merge views allow us to detect all five flaws very easily. The second weld user case we will look at is a two-sided weld inspection. This inspection is performed on a flat specimen with a double V weld. The specimen is one and one quarter inch thick and contains a root crack, incomplete penetration, lack of fusion, and some porosity. With the advanced capabilities of the Topaz 64, we are even able to perform the inspection using TFM on both probes at the same time. The software compensates for the probes not having the same scan reference and corrects the data position so that the flaws appear at the same location in both scans. The TFM gives great results with higher flaw characterization capabilities. Both sides see three flaws. Only the lack of fusion is not clearly detected from the 90 degrees skew. 
with only a light shadow showing. The topaz allows us to display both channels at once, making it easy to determine which channel has the better flaw response. The unit also has a lot of analysis tools on board, including Field that will automatically calculate the 6 dB drop sizing of a highlighted flaw. The benefits of the NDT Sweeper are many. It is a highly versatile tool. It is easy to deploy and able to encode and raster scan over long distances, providing C-scan mapping of large steel or composite parts. It is a quick and efficient solution for the assessment of damaged or freshly repaired CFRP surfaces. And it is perfectly suited for weld inspection on flat specimens or pipe long seam welds, and for corrosion mapping. It is also an innovative design that includes two integrated encoders for 2D scanning precision, non-marring wheels with integrated magnets, safe to use on composite, easy to use on steel, brakes that lock the location of the scanner at the desired position, individual probe suspension that can be fixed axially or laterally, and it can support up to two phased array probes at the same time compatible with most phased array wedges. Okay, now let's answer some frequently asked questions. Does the sweeper make the paintbrush obsolete? No. The sweeper and the paintbrush can be used in similar applications, but each have their advantages. The sweeper is very effective for standard raster scan, but the paintbrush is better to go close to obstacles. Both have their merit depending on the situation. How fast can the sweeper be used on a scan? The speed is not limited by the sweeper, but by the ultrasounds. The more efficient you make your ultrasound setup, the faster you will be able to scan. We have implemented an optimization button on the Topaz to allow you to know rapidly which parameters could be adjusted to optimize the acquisition speed, and thus your maximum scanning speed. Can I use probes I already own on the sweeper? Yes. Our probe holder comes with multiple types of forks that can adapt to most commercially available probes. On behalf of everyone at ZTech, thank you again for attending this webinar. If you are interested in learning more about our solution or have additional questions, please email us at webinars at ztech.com. To learn more about ZTech, visit our website or follow us on social media. This concludes our webinar. Thank you and have a great day.